I don't want to um, analyze the draft. I've already thought about it a lot. Could, you could pay more attention to the bans and stuff, but uh, here I just want to look at the end results of the game. It's actually going to be played. Mystery on Batrider. Ten seconds seconds remaining. All right. Prepare for battle. All right. Let me watch this game then. See what happens. So, Puppy playing Dazzle, Misery Batrider, Adlet Meyer <laughs> on Ember, Weeha on Zeus, Pyladai. Yes. So they actually went for a TP out into a Roche level 1, is that it? Not even a Roche level 1. He's just. Ah, uh, he just TP'd out to give the vision and now they're ganking. They saw one guy running up. <clears throat> And right now, smoke range doesn't break as early as they see. So they saw this guy. They're still gonna go up. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna find anyone here, will they? Or maybe, but... None of them have been seen yet. But Secret have pretty good... Respect here. They know that the level 1 of Vega is pretty powerful. And Vega is a very aggressive team. Notoriously so. And now they see them. That's pretty nice, actually, when you see them on the way out. Because if you never saw them, you might not know what happened at all. But now they saw, you know, you see Sven here as well with the ward. Um, it just makes you feel more certain of yourself when you made a good prediction like this. They backed out. Survived. So Zeus on mid lane. He bought three clarities, two iron branches. He's going to rush the bottle. It's going to be against Urkel helping out with the block. An OD on the mid. I think Zeus can deal with OD. OD should be lasting a lot. But he shouldn't be able to um, stop the Zeus from CSing that much. OD has good damage, but he doesn't reach him with the auto attack. And the Q spam can be pretty powerful. I don't know why he didn't go for Magic Wand. He must have assumed that he was going to be against uh, an Ember. Or he just or he just felt that I still want my Null. If you're against the Zeus, I think you want your Magic Wand for sure. But Anyway, they're going to run the safe lane. Safe lane Ember against Darks here. It's decent because you can protect yourself with the Flame Guard. The Darks here and Jakira lane. Meanwhile, Batrider ES off lane. And this is the Abduction lane. These two guys in the mid game. I wonder if he will get his Aghanims. No Magic Wand here either. Secret is like heavily relying on the enemy team not having a Magic Wand in their laning stage. Funny. Surprised he started with the stat shield as well here. Because he should know that the off lane has to be Bat Rider. He still decides they wants the stat shield. Not saying it's bad. He can tank the creeps a lot, but uh, He's gonna find his magic one now, going into the side chop, so he'll be fine. There's some support business going down here. Zema versus Poppy. Of course, the pool is available. They want to use it, but against the Darks here. It's hard to use the pull, and then you get iron shields as well under your creep wave. Bottom lane, I'm not surprised that Fire is keeping a pretty firm grip down here. He's still doing a good job CSing though, under tower and under pressure he's under. Oh. He already used the Q, so no kills available, but... Uh, this is actually a miss skill, in my opinion. This, I'm gonna say, is a mistake. If you put two points in Essence Aura, you will restore 15% instead of 10. And you also have 150 extra mana instead of 75. Well, yes, you do steal more int, one more int per Arcan Orb when you skill up uh, your Q. It's a little bit better to have that extra mana pool and extra HP or extra mana regenerated. I played a bit of OD and tested it. And I've laned against a lot of ODs. So I can tell this build is not the best for mid. Because now, he has no mana at all. Suicide by Earth to the Ancients. They're just putting a lot of pressure on this poor Ember. I wonder what item build he's gonna go for here. Bottle is still a great item for Ember at all cases, but... He might even go Boots early, just to avoid Iron Shield damage. And mid is, as I expected, Zeus... He has his farm, OD has... Oh, I actually missed the first one. He went to Contesta? 
I want to see what happened. Instant replay, boys, coming right up. Some uh, status effects here. He tries to steal. Oh, you die there. It's the clap, actually. It's the neutral that screwed him over. I did not think he would die. Neither did he, I guess. But, uh... Yeah. He managed to get the... Um, get the slow on him exactly when he was under a creep wave. Pretty nice. Hey, hey, easy on the T-Tours, guys. Easy on T-Tours. Um... See what's happening. He didn't bother putting a single point in Astro Imprisonment. I think that's the correct choice for this mid lane. Against an against the Zeus, there's really no no I there's no value behind scaling it. Normally you can put your opponent down and CS during that time, but you don't put a Zeus down. He's so far away. Batrider, while he died, he's still being aggressive and getting a lot of experience here. And he's up to 18 last hits, so he's actually top CS for his team. So sometimes Playing aggressive and risking dying can be fine at the exchange of guaranteeing getting a lot of experience. Bottom lane. Oh, they brought down the, brought down the darks here as well. Oh, they're gonna kill the Sven as well. That guy's dead. No way to run away from that. Oh, he popped the salve as well. That's even more, even more value. <laughs> they're making this lane work, huh? Very nice play by uh, Pilot Eye. Oh, this is curious. Yeah, why not? That's actually a good idea. With a new change to Geomagnetic Grip, you can't pull teammates. And it's only a 2.5 second silence with 50 damage. Why not just max out your Boulder Smash if you're gonna roam? He's gonna tactically suicide again? Is he going to? Is he gonna run? Which is faster? He's still stacking. Stacking for the Batrider. Who's also clearing a stack over here. And he's gonna get the creep wave. Uh, he's not gonna get the gold from this, I think. Radiance he might. Oh, two of those went to Jakiro. And the last one to Jakiro as well. Very good last hits by Sima. Can be hard to get that. They're pinging out the stacks. Not dire, just uh, secret. So far, the laning stage, I think, is working out quite well for Secret, since they have the more chaotic draft. But I think Vega, their goal should be to just come out of the laning stage, find a way to group up as 5 when you have high enough level on Darkseer. And if you have the mech as well, I don't really know who's going to buy it. I assume the Darkseer will buy it. But when they have those uh, that item and enough levels, they can 5 man and be pretty damn fast at pushing down towers. Oh, that Batrider. Nice protection. He actually blocked the magic damage from Zeus. Big play by Solo. They're gonna get anyone? Well, oh, they're chasing everything. They're not gonna get Earth. Meanwhile, Ember is going as well. Gonna get the solo kill with Zeus KSing that 100%. That's fine. Weeha. You tell him. That's your money. Middle tower is under attack. And pretty impressed by uh, both teams already, what they have done. Oh, is he gonna go for a steal on the creeps? He can get the... Oh, he actually could kill him? Wow. This hero hurts so much. Yeah, two W... or two E's and one Fortress and it's actually so much damage. Six hundred and thirty damage, and it's, it's like being yanked by Zeus actually when he runs up on you like that. Very scary stuff indeed. Zeus should have a little bit easier of a lane the longer the game goes here on the mid lane, so Odi doesn't really want to keep laning here as much, whereas the Zeus can easily just throw down his W on him repeatedly at a safe range. Uh, at some point he wants to put one point in imprisonment just to be able to save teammates or enemies. Oh, they get top as well. Stun to lead from Sven and then extra damage from Oracle. He has Urn now as well. Vega starting to get some momentum back. Should be pretty even right now. Yeah, very even. 
OD with maxed out Q. This is when you have to respect him a little bit, but maybe they can kill him. Yeah, they have... Oh, the Dark Seer, this is dangerous. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna get the OD. Magic Wand? Oh, he's good if Ember doesn't do anything. He's good then. Zeus comes in. Oh, Pyla die, going for it. You might die here, dude. You're probably dead, dude. Oh, but Zeus comes and bails him out. That's more int though. Look at that, 65 int. Eight minutes in. I've played a lot of games with and against OD. I haven't seen anyone have 65 int this early. Stolen. There are some heroes that are just dumb as shit right now. Ember, 169 mana pool. Earth, let's look at you. 234. Yep. That's what he does to you. Feels a lot of int. You can't take long fights against OD as well. If OD gets enough heal, which he could from the Oracle and a Darkseer potential mech, which is in the in the makings, then you need to burst the OD somehow. But how do you burst against Oracle's protection? I'm gonna say that one of the critical items in this game would be if Oracle finishes up an Aether Lens, so that he can stand way bar, uh, way far back, so that Batrider can't go on him, and Earth can't go on him, because that would make him able to look at the range on his uh, ulti, even without Aether Lens. If he has Aether Lens as well, he can protect people almost out of the screen, out of the screen when you center his hero. So. It just makes it much easier for him to play. He's gonna scale up W on level 8. I think that's a very good choice. Because uh, it would have been good there in the previous fights. Of course, his maxed out Arcane Orb and uh, 2 point and Tara were also very good for him. Oh, uh, they're trying to kill mid. Going with the... With Ice. Oh, he mistimed it! That could cost him! Is he gonna kill him? Ah, uh, Ember goes in. Yeah, he's dead. Ah, uh, was painful misplay. Oracle is here to salvage. Uh, he's gonna have healed a lot. Yep. Didn't even take damage after that ulti. Ah. Uh, he must have played pretty good so far in this game, but that was one crucial mistake. He tried to go for too much, like, get too much value out of it. He wanted the full 1.4 seconds. He should just have... Precast it a little bit so that the uh, Zeus can walk away. Because they had that gank, actually. It, it would work. Anyway. It was a pretty forced gank, I guess. So they were probably pretty stressed from uh, counter ganks here. <clears throat> and Batrider was close. Batrider does have his blink and smoke now. Gonna land his first gank soon. Looks like it's gonna be a travels rush from Ember by the items he has. And this is what everyone is doing on Sven at the moment. It's a very popular build. He's probably not going to put any more points in the rest of his skills. Just max out the cleave now. And start farming the Ancients. Because you can farm ridiculously fast with Sven. Even if you know the enemy is stacking Ancients. I mean, it's done. The Ancients are stacked. He's had the Helm of Dominator for quite a while. Or he hasn't even had it for a while. They've just been stacking with the teammate actually. Yeah, let me see how he got caught on mid. Because they have a high ground ward as well. It's just a battery of smoke, I'm sure, but... Yeah. At this point, 11 minutes in, you should kind of keep it in your head that there might be a smoke right now from battery. Especially if he's off map, but... I mean... That's the hardest gank to avoid, it's the first one from the Batrider. I'm sure they just thought that he didn't quite have the blink yet. Because he was off map for like a full minute, so he could have been farming jungle, he could have been ganking. They don't really have any deep wards, so they can't tell. That's why a ward here, for example, can be super valuable for Dire to get early. The downside is, it's hard to get there. You have to smoke out and hope that you go undetected. But even then, the enemy have a Zeus, so if they're diligent, they will just check it as well. Um, he's making his way towards the Ancients now with the Fen. They missed the next stack, but that's already a 5 stack. So that's pretty great for him. 1, 2, 1. Actually, it's a 4 stack. Yeah. Uh, quad stack is good too. And they're gonna try and steal this. They're gonna try and do something. But look how fast it dies. And they have Oracle behind, so this is not easy. Oracle can break the uh, Flaming Lasso as well. So keep that in mind. Whenever you play Batrider against Oracle. And uh, he can break it in two different ways. How broken is that? 
Even if he used his perch on someone else, his ulti also purges when you cast it. So this guy actually has two ways to save from Batrider. His Q obviously takes a while to reach the target though, so his ulti is best and has really good range. Um, but this game might be very hard for uh, for Batrider to have big impact if Oracle knows what he's doing. Uh, and he's gonna go for a mid pick again. Oracle is there. He's a little bit too far. Ah, but he's close enough. That cast range. I thought he was too close. Uh, too far. Oh, saves his teammate. And uh, I think that's what Misery can expect a lot in this game. Just OD to be protected by Oracle. Oh, let's take a look at farm right now. See what's happening. It's very even despite Dire farming the stack. So quite quite a good job here by uh, Secret. They are ahead a little bit in kills. They have good momentum as well on several heroes. Like Puppy already has his uh, medallion as well. Can be pretty nice for supports to get good item creation early. Helps. Let's just check the net worth instead of CS. Production value and stuff. Ember's still just happy farming away. He doesn't want to do anything else. So, wow. Solo is going for it again. Forces out a defensive Firefly. No respect. You can always use your E to instant kill the range creeps as well. When it's maxed out. So just a good thing if you're Oracle. You very often will find yourself having mana to do it. It's just 80 mana to use it. Um, but make sure you get the last hits. It's magical damage so... Not gonna work on the catapult so well. We see more Zeus scouting for wards. And here goes what I was calling for in the laning stage. When they go as five and group up, it's so hard. I don't know how they're gonna go in there. It kind of comes down to the top tower to Pylite Eye actually, and how well he's gonna be able to play. They're gonna take this time to go and block the ancients. He's trying to do it without being revealed, but. Yeah, he had scouted him. A little satyr banisher. Top tower, has fallen. Um, top tower, of course, already down. They push very fast. They still have Sven ulti as well. So they could commit ultis here. Zeus coming in to defend. And mass TP's going down bottom. They're going on darks here. They can't kill him. They have to run. Um, the ice path has to be on point. Okay, he actually died here, but... He could probably have lived if he mashed hard enough. Because Ice Path is not a complete instant. They do bring down the Oracle as well. I think he's got his TP cancelled by the by the Zeus. Yeah. He got his TP cancelled by the W. So if you button mash hard enough when you're about to land in the imprisonment, you can actually get out of it. Same for Rage, BKB, um, the jump out by Ember. And a few other skills as well that you can get off first, like Spike Carapace, for example. So, there's a lot of things you can do. I think he just messed up his bottle, ma bottle mashing. Almost the Sanchasha finish on Sven. First time I saw it, I thought it was a little bit of a strange build, but uh, it makes you quite strong, makes you fast, so locking on to targets a little bit easier in teamfights. It makes a lot of sense for Sven, I guess. With his third skill as well, you, you can just rush at people. So much extra Dyer's movement speed. I'm gonna try Roche trade for tier 1 trade. This is very common when you dire. The enemy go for tier 1 top, you just go for Roche. Uh, they will be so out of position to come and contest this. Ember, I mean, in the old days he would probably just have sent in a remnant, but they don't get vision Dyer's anymore. So you can't use scouting remnants anymore. And they're gonna put it on Sven? <gasps> oh! Pilot Eye! Should have gone big, got the quad stun there, boy! I, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. He actually just ends up dying. And uh, Sven does pick up the Aegis, so he's gonna charge in. Wow, the gold for them? Okay. Okay. Secret don't give any fucks. No fucks. Orko's in a really bad spot here. He got a good W off, but he's still dead. They're just kind of back at that. Mm -hmm. That worked out really well for Secret. And especially winning fights against the enemy team when they have Aegis. That's a confidence boost. The OD mid still hasn't picked up his first item here. No force staff. I mean, he's going for a Rod of Aegis rush, right? But he doesn't have it yet. 
And Puppy, you're just dead. That's even more in for the OD. Oh, frog. Zeus did go for the early Etherlands, dropping and abusing. Very nice. Even dropping for that bottle charge to finish. I'll try and stack it again. This is quite heavily what Vega rely on. This stack not being blocked. And instead of blocking it, they just planted a word for vision secret. So they want to come there and contest with their Batrider. It's understandable. If they know where the Oracle is, maybe they can get a grab. But he almost has his... Um, oh. He almost has his entire uh, ether lens. What do you think about W33 hectares in general? Dyer's top tower. W33 hectares? Really? He's my favorite player, W33 hectares. Secretary Chan, thanks for asking. <laughs> thanks for donating, dude. Top tower has I think he's a really cool guy. I played on the same team with him, and he's just very chill. I mean, I had my. My opinions about him before on the whole refresh thing, but all that aside, the guy is really cool and he would never He would never upset me in any way. He's he's a pretty great guy. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's W thirty three hectares, that's uh that's the thing, huh? Nice splitting here by uh, secret. But Vega are quite happy as well, they're just farming away. He picked up a new range creep. They're very good for stacking. I think my favorite's... Oh, he's just dead, isn't he? No way to TP away. Unless early ice path? Okay, OD is here as well. Yeah, then you're still dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions, huh? Pretty funny. They might even go Orchid on their uh, OD in this game, but I think he won't. I think Blink Dagger is going to be the build. There are so many viable options though. Like Blink or Hex makes the most sense for him right now. Because Blink to initiate if he has Aegis after an next Roshan could be really good. But Hex will also allow him to kill anyone. And against Spirits, every Spirit in the game, again, except for like Vengeful, right? But like Earth... Storm and Ember, all of them are countered hard by getting disabled by uh, Orchid or Hex. More so than normal heroes. They can't escape. All elusive little bastards. Oh, go on that! Nice vacuum. Okay. That tower is definitely dead, so immediately when this happens, just push side lanes aggressively. That's why you see even Flame Guard being popped and just charging out. This is a sign of someone who understands and has played a lot of Dola, you know. When you know your team just died here, there's no way to contest, so just shove the other lanes, because the enemy won't be paying attention to this right now anyway. And, yeah, just good understanding. Sad for him to get picked off there, but it was a nice smoke and wrap around by Dyer. I'm going to steal the enemy ancients here while stacking their own. And it's so hard to counter. You need to ward the ancients. Uh, like, having vision on it hasn't helped them at all. They farmed it twice during the duration of this ward. So, Sven doesn't really care if you see him, because he kills it in roughly, like, 10 seconds. Even quicker, like, all the small creeps are dead after just a few hits. So it's very hard to come there and steal it. And they don't have any heroes to take it with. I mean, there's no battle here on Ember yet. He's going for it. But he's not there yet. Aggressive look here by uh, Earth and Batrider. They almost have the ulti on... Earth, so should be able to kill something if they run into him. OD, pretty lonely here. Hey, just just timing out for uh, Pasha. Yeah, Pasha, yeah, Bashu. And they're respecting it. They don't see anyone here. This deep ward is what makes it able uh, for Dire Side to understand what's going on. So they just get out. Also, the fact that Ember was farming confidently on top lane, it's a little bit of a tell. Oh, Dark's here, trying to go for a deny or something. Little bit of a risky play. That could cost them. Top tower is actually dead. Ember brought this stuff. And they're gonna fight this. Dark has no mech. Even if he buybacks, there's no mech ready. So, they're gonna try. They don't have lasso though. 
Oh, they're in such a bad spot. They're completely pinned to the wall here. They're trying with their Oracle. He still has ulti. Can maybe save the Sven. He got the ulti on him. And he's just stealing in from this poor Dazzle. He graves himself and then he just keeps being hit by the OD who just says thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, that was pretty amazing for Vega. They were in a bad spot, but they managed to turn around. They didn't have their mech, they didn't have their main teamfight hero, which is Starks here. And they still got the deny and a kill. An attempt of a pick here. The W protecting against all magic damage for a little while. Very good way to stop this kill attempt, as they all have nothing but magic damage, really. Ember. Yes, Battle Fury. Oh, uh, still trying to have the Battle grab. He's gonna grab him and pull him away. Yeah, Jakura's dead. Got two split up this time. Oracle can't save you all the time. Oh, he didn't go for the Ether Lens. He went for a Glimmer. Yeah, there's a ton of magic damage. I understand that. I can get behind that choice. I still think that the Ether Lens is an amazing item for Oracle, but... In this game in particular, when I look at the magic damage, yeah, okay. Also, going invis is gonna be a little bit worse against the Zeus, but it still, you know, it still might save someone if they're being chased down by Ember alone, something like that. Even Oracle himself, he if he gets chased by Ember, he can get away from it. Unless Zeus has ulti, of course. To be kept in mind as well, the Zeus ulti AoE... The Zeus ulti AoE True Sight is not as big as it used to be. After they nerfed that, he's not so good at revealing. It's a pretty small area, like this pretty much, where it used to be a massive, massive reveal. Game keeps going at a pretty farmy pace, but uh, Secret have done a good job at taking down tower towers. Oh, what? They got Ember? How did they catch him? Just blink Sven's done? Surprised he got caught there. Let's just check. Uh, okay. He runs out. And he goes for farming under the enemy tower. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, <clears throat> he fucked up. So that's massive. Um, a lot of gold for Dire, and also a lot of time that Ember is not farming now. And they put him a little bit. Delayed towards his next next item. Decided to go for uh, max astro imprisonment on uh, OD, which I think is also good. If you're gonna team fight a lot, 10 second cooldown is the big reason to do it. The 300 damage is kind of whatever. As you saw, he can use it to farm a little bit, but it's mainly just for the for the team fight. Then so now is BKB and Blink along with his items. As the Ember got to feel in mid lane, that Blink is quite good for initiation. Uh, he also didn't decide to max out his stun all the way. No reason to really. Like, more stats is just great on Sven. It's good in early game to just max the stun, but he doesn't have to go back and put value points into it. It's pretty good to just get more stats. His extra int, as you see, 507 mana with no magic one. It's kind of hard to sustain your uh, stuns in a long team fight. Of course, he has OD and uh, Mana Boots Oracle, though. That's not terrible. Ember is back to farming bottom. While Vega seemed to be controlling the game a lot, um, in terms of the fights, it just smoked on their ward, so this is not gonna find anything. We can see this as well. Ember is just back pushing here, he's like, yeah, they're not going down here. Take some guts after the way he just died. Puppy, with the clutch TP out, even revealing the smoke as well, so... Yeah. He, he had a pretty perfect understanding of how long time it takes to go from here to here. But... It will be hard for him to take the rush fight now. After the smoke. It should be Dire Roshan. They know about it. Batrider wants to go for a grab, but he shouldn't be able to with the Oracle here. Oh, what a push! He got him on the high ground. Can he keep him there though? He's just gonna blink down in a second. Okay, they, they don't care. They don't want to make a play with it. They're just respecting the fact they're too far away and that's not a fight. Bottom tower did almost die to it though, so all the side lane pushing by secret. That second skill really helping a little bit, the farming again, beating it up. 
I think Seeker are scared of Vega right now to take a team fight. But they want to go for pickoffs, but oh, he's under a ward again. Gonna uh, try. That's an Aegis and BKB. Oh, he opted for BKB in this game. I guess double BKB. How are they gonna fight against that? Putting him down. Oh. Uh, gets the grave off. This is not as great of a fight as he want with the first BKB charge. I mean, it's still one fight, but they could probably have gotten more out of that. I was. Questioning a little bit why he put down the Batrider, because he couldn't blink or get away in any way. He had to force that Freddy, I guess, but... Bottom tower is under attack. I feel like it just allowed time for the Dazzle to come in and grave his teammates Dyer's and then die. Anyway, more split push going on. Blink Dagger now on Ember, so it's going to be even harder to uh, deal Dyer's with. Gets the tower and immediately going for a top kill. He's been scouted, though. And this OD... <laughs> Doesn't have his speak B anymore. Being kept in place. Go for self in prison. Buying time for Jakiro. Still gonna go down once. They're happy with that. They don't want to take more. Guardian Greaves. Um, there's an interaction with Guardian Greaves that I want to mention in this game. That you should pay attention to when you're playing against an Oracle. And you're like, yeah, I mean, you get twice the heal, right? When you're in the False Promise. Yeah, but think about it for a second. When you're low HP, your regen gets boosted by 15 per second. And Oracle ulti lasts for a long time. And it doubles all the extra regen as well. So any way that you heal is going to get doubled. So the most effective way to get a good False Promise is wait to the teammate is low HP and then get that ulti off. Of course, you're not going to try and do that. But if you manage to do it, you know... That heal. I've I've been upset about some team fights against that particular little mechanic. So just keep it in mind. Because sometimes you, you try and count, right? Playing as an Oracle, you try and count how much heal is being put into the False Promise and how much damage you're putting in. You can see it on the indicator as well, if the enemy is going to die or not. But sometimes you can just get surprised by how much heal he got. When it doesn't look like there was more than just Arcane Boot pop and... Or the Guardian Grief pop and... Few prayer fine claims. But it's that passive region as well. Gonna go for a BKB TP out. Pretty big still. That's a 10 second BKB used for a TP out, so Secret are not unhappy with that one. And man, they're just always on pressure. I feel like they're kind of pinpointing Vega, just putting them in their base, constraining them so that this Ember can farm all the map. It's pretty beautiful to see. Wow! That's a deep word. He found it, actually. That was placed a long time ago as well, when they were smoking, I think. Yeah, after a smoke wrap here. Of invisibility. Interesting that he found that. Must have seen when they did it. Or he just blindly attempted. That was random. I mean, he keeps spamming it everywhere, so... He could have randomly found it, I guess. And uh, the entire side of Vega being revealed as they're farming up here. Never a good thing, because that means more confidence for his split pushers on other lanes. Look at the Dazzle. It's getting item progression. Taking so many CS just by doing this. That animation cancel, though. And they're trying to go for a tier 2 tower, finally, to get some damage done to the Radiant base, but again, they, they have to defend. There's so much pressure. They should be able to get a kill here on the Dazzle, because Puppy kind of overstayed his welcome. He knows he did. He's dead. The Ice Path is not going to be off timing. Very low CD on the Macro Pyre, so might as well use it. And uh, Batrider indicating right where the enemy is. He's going for the Aghanims, I think. I don't think he's going BKB. The Aghanims could be very... Very useful in team fights because he grabs two targets, and doing that against something like something like Oracle, if he's ever too close to the person he wants to save, he could just as well feed along with them. We'll see if he goes BKB. I don't think BKB is necessary at all here for Batrider, so should be a bit an Aghanims. Ether Lens is also amazing for uh, Batrider, so that's a potential item, I guess. He failed his stack, but still good gold. And speaking of stack, 
Even more farming. This Sven, look at how fast he's farming. This Ember has been farming all game long, pretty much. Just He has so much farm on Ember, but he's still falling behind to the Sven. And it's a lot to do with just this one Ancient. Ah, he's gonna look for him. He knows he's in there somewhere. He's gonna blindly blink. Oh! That's not blindly, they have a ward! Holy shit! Well, I mean, Ember knows what's up now as well. If he blinks in an instant stuns you here, there's only two things that could be true. Either there's a ward right where you're standing, or there's a ward on this, so... He knows. That's uh, the old anti-tinker spots. Which are now... New, I guess. But not like the old ones. Very quick kill here. Good pickoffs for Vega, really. They're strong and they keep winning fights, but I still worry for them. I don't think they can deal with the split push. Like, they're probably gonna get the Dasso as well. Oh, they didn't get the cast on him. And he did go back for the Ether Lance as well. So the magic resistance on this, uh, this Oracle, pretty amazing. I worry for Vega though, I don't think they can, uh, can deal with the split push in the end, we'll see. He did go for the BKB. Yeah, he used the top. Uh, I don't know about that one. It's just against OD, I guess. 100% he doesn't want to get CC'd by the Jikiro and Sven and killed by OD. I mean, it's alright, but I think you needed Aghanim's more. That double grab... That double grab is pretty damn good, and it's not only that. If you get Aghanims, it also adds one damage tick per second on your Flaming Lasso, which can be really great if you already had some picking Napalms on the enemy. And uh, I believe it's 100 damage per second, so... It just it just adds up, you know, with the Firefly, the Flame Break, and your ulti later on. Pop you with the D-Word. Job. Get out safely. Casting replays, 2007, dude. Yeah, man. Old replay cast right here. People just said that this was a really good game, so I wanted to watch it. I can only agree so far. It's interesting drafts. And the way Secret made their their uh, Earth Spirit and Batrider work is pretty amazing. Value Veil vale is picked up. So the magic damage is pretty pretty horrifying here. Uh, their lens everywhere. Check everyone's item, actually, right now. So there's four travels in the game. Three of them are on the side of Secret. That's why they're split pushing so much, right? They're just trying to keep the enemy pinned down in their base while they farm the majority of the map. But the thing is, they haven't stopped this fan at all. And while Odi is not that farmed, he's still catching up. He almost has Hex, and when he does, that is a very, very hard thing to fight into for any of them. I still wish he went for Blink Dagger in this game. Blink Dagger would have helped with just catching out people right as they uh, split them so much. They're gonna try and smoke up, I guess. Uh, this could be under detection. If they looked at their... If someone was looking at this vision, they would have seen the smoke. And we actually see a counter smoke as well. And they're drawing the line. Yeah, I think they know exactly what's going on. I think they saw that smoke. They wouldn't have seen the heroes, but they could have seen the smoke. And sometimes when everyone is off map, I mean, look at their movements. Yeah, they 100% knew what was going down here. Oh, Hex! Can they change down it? He's dead. That's the thing about Ember, squishy hero. You die and, like, you don't need to be chained down for long at all to go down. That Hex range. And again, they got picked off over there, so they're trying to shove bottom. But that was a bad time to die, looking at the Roshan. Luckily, he is going to have time to respawn, I think. They might get forced out of this area. And uh, Oracle, very bravely, just running this way. Kind of signifying that there should be... We're signaling that there should be more people here. Um, and I think they just pinged this word. I didn't see it. That was maybe Dire Ping, but I think it was actually Radiant Ping. I could be wrong. Just getting, when you smoke up like that and you go for something and you miss completely and then the enemy backstab you, kind of feels like the enemy saw you smoke. So they might have 
you know, a little heads up on what happened there. Ben attacking really fast with Moonshard and uh, Hyperstone. He almost has a full Satanic as well if he wants it. Surprised he didn't go for the Daedalus actually, instead of the uh, Hyperstone here. More attack speed is nice, but I, I believe Daedalus would have been amazing. The amount of damage you have when you pop ulti. Sure, the attack speed works well with this as well, but Daedalus is just, you know, it's Sven's item. Going to be absurd. And yeah, again, no way to contest this one really. Just gonna split push. Zeus working his way towards Octarine ever so slowly. And the advantage starting to lean more in favor of uh, Dire here, but that's only on paper. That's only on paper. Seeker is still. I'm not gonna say controlling the game, but they're. They're definitely yeah. dictating the pace of the game by all the split push. What's your opinion on Metal Bowman? I think he's easily one of the best carries in the world. I'm gonna agree. I think he's easily one of the best carries in the world. That's that I think. I'm not gonna disagree with at all. He's a pretty amazing player. Um, he's uh, he's pretty random in person. He's very kind and you know, as all Finnish people, I love their accent. So he's a lot of fun. But, oh, Sven! Trying to chase, but he's alone. The rest of them gonna get scouted by Ward. Anyway, Matumba Man and his, uh, his recent Hyperstone into into Moonshard early on Antimage was something that uh, I had to look up, you know. But, he's definitely a really good, really good player. Huh, no one took the cheese this time? Interesting. They just left it? Well, they're pinging it now. <laughs> yeah. Rage is like, I'm gonna stand on top of it, don't worry. I'll protect it. Dropping his TP. Darkseid is going in for it. And he's not with his team on top now. So... I still think... Radiant are not gonna fight. They're gonna split push, but... Hmm. Let's see if they could have forced here. Interesting choice that they never went for Aghanims on their uh, ES. It would have meant that they needed to, like do more heavy supporting with the rest of the team and just let him farm up a little bit. Because he's currently a lowest net worth. But Agnes is pretty amazing for kidnapping people when they go high ground. As has been demonstrated recently in quite a few games. Link Dagger finally up on the OD by the way. He had it for a while now but as I was crying for a lot that Blink Dagger is so valuable. So it works both aggressively really well for him now because of the Hex. But also, he can protect himself by just impersonating and then TPing out, or uh, blinking out immediately after. They have some things that are gonna make it hard though, like the Flame Guard and the Batrider Firefly. If you're imprisoned on top of any of these two things, then it can be difficult to get the blink off. Or rather, it's almost impossible. You would have to be lucky, basically. The damage tick could definitely screw you over immediately. Uh, but they're finally forcing high ground! Sven holding on to Rolti and just going for the kill on a support here. Gonna try and blow up the Dazzle, hesitating a little bit. Still goes for it. And that's a lot of commitment for one Dazzle. Oracle ulti, stopping the Batrider. And they're trying to reset a little bit. They still have Aegis, but they don't have BKB on OD. And this Sven, he is really being focused on. Sorry if I go silent. I'm not really a play-by-play -play caster, so I'm just gonna try and see exactly what goes wrong and right in this fight. Alright, they're gonna finally bail, I think. They're just gonna try and get out. OD is gonna go down, though, if they just leave him. Um, he doesn't have a TP as well, so he doesn't have many options right now. They're gonna try and go in to save him. 20 seconds for the... He can glimmer him, but he can't ulti him with Oracle. And he will glimmer him and protect him. Gonna go for a TP out, but there's the Flame Guard. Already is. Oh, wow! Oh yeah, he still had the Oracle W on him. Oh, that's pretty amazing. So he didn't take any magic damage, so he can blink. And they're gonna go for the same combo again. That's actually a combo, but this time, not so much. And in the end, Oracle got a Glimmer TP away, right in front of a Zeus. That cheeky bastard. Of course, Zeus just killed your, uh, your OD, so... That's funny, that's a combo. 
they definitely thought about that before doing it. So there's one more combo to their lineup than I even thought about. That if you put the Fate's Edict and immediately imprison yourself, it has a four and a half second duration. And you're imprisoned for four seconds. Meaning you will still be immune to magic when you come out. So Firefly or Flame Guard will not protect uh, against that TP. That's interesting. Or against that blink. That's interesting. Either way, they did get a melee Rax, so they got a payoff for their push there. I think it was a little bit too ham to go for that Dazzle, and if he was gonna go do, go do it, he would have to back out quicker. Like, he didn't want to blow the ulti as well as right clicks, but this Dazzle, this little Dazzle has a Solar Crest. And this is the hardest counter that they have to OD right now. Evasion. Because yes, Royal Evasion gives you a chance to True Strike. Oh, they're gonna try and protect him. They're fresh here. He's gonna grab one more. He's gonna grab the Archer. Oh, maybe she'll grab Sven. Nope. Sven dies quickly. Fine. And yeah, that's gonna be terrible. I think they can even run down more targets here. If they wanted to. I respect their enemies a little bit. And chill. They have really low HP and mana on a lot of people, so. Refresher on uh, Misery. Paying off. Refresher can be better than Aghanims in some scenarios, for sure. But I would love to see an Aghanims on top of this Refresher as well. That would just be crazy. That's the point when you can win a fight on your own as Batrider, so. Yeah, it just gives you accuracy, but it's not... The way it works, it's not going to be that 40% enemy accuracy is going to completely remove the evasion from uh, Solar Crests. Because you still have 25% evasion and 40% accuracy, but it's not going to immediately cancel out. I think it's just going to give you a 40% chance to hit when the enemy would evade. Pretty much. I, I haven't looked at it yet. The Rod of Ages accuracy chance. But evasion against him is is one of the best solutions you could have. Also, if you get a BKB on on anyone, or even just put the solo crest on Ember, then he has Lincolns to protect against against the accuracy. So it's still a good thing. Oh, they're looking for it. That invisibility. He's feeling it. OD knows he doesn't want to go farm it. Respecting. Respecting the fog of war, gonna back off for this day. And the courier is heading straight out. Okay, it's going back, it's fine. They even have a defensive ward here to just find out people again. Second time of this game they have that ward. And, uh, they did find this ward, they're going! Sven, two hits the ES, but he's so far away from his team, but he's getting pulled even further. Nah, they're just abandoning that. All right. He didn't even have to use BKB there, so that's that's pretty alright. Ember trying to be cheeky and get a kill on Oracle, but instead just doing some damage, it's fine. He should be very, very confident here with Lincolns and Blink. Almost impossible to bring down for a Sven. That two hit though. Pasha is not fucking around. And he's going bottom as well, he's looking for it. Is he gonna try and blind Blink? No. No attempt at blind Blink. They know that Roche is up soon. Their pickoff was good, but it's a little bit too early uh, to be in good time for Roshan, of course. That's a good way to take the Rosh fight. Like, there are two things you can do. Either you have the better fight for Roshan, you just confidently go there and take it. Or you need to get a pickoff and then go there and take it. And against the Batrider and ES, um, the most safe way is for sure to go for kills. The Sven is getting pretty gear capped right now. And while it's kind of nice... It should be a little bit worrisome for them that if they can't close out the game soon, there's gonna be more heroes to come online on the on the radiance. If they get an Aghanims on the Earth, for example. <clears throat> he can still change like Abyssal Blade instead of Sanchasha, for example. It's one very good upgrade that he could do. Abyssal Blade will allow to kill many heroes like the Dazzle, the Earth, even easier. I guess he could already kill the Earth, but Let's do a wrap around here. Currently only two wards on the map. This one, this one. Both teams doing a good job de-warding each other. Or a poor job warding. Depends how you see it. No wards available for, uh, for either team right now. 
I actually... Do you even see it when you do that? Let's check. Alright. Yeah. No words available. Interesting. It's currently just split push. They're trying to go force top so that they could get racks on top side as well as bottom side. But of course secret. Gonna go for a split again. Name of the game. All game long pretty much. They have some good pickoffs as well. I'm not saying they're only split pushing. But they're very proactive. This is a nice word. Just they're going for sneaky stuff that can't be dewarded. Because they respect the enemy team have gem and the enemy team has Zeus. So no matter where you ward, it's gonna be so hard to keep that ward up. And uh this is the third. We actually have three old anti-tinker wards in spot right now. One here for the Radiant. This one, I mean, yeah, you, you might find someone there later on. I'm not so sure about that ward, though. <laughs> nice commentary, bro. Keep it up, smiley babe. Thanks. I'm losing my voice, so we're only gonna do this one game. Don't expect more. Uh, Aegis should go to OD here. And the cheese. Okay, cheese on the OD. They dropped the Sanchiasha for the Aegis on the Sven. I suppose that could be good. We saw in bottom lane how when they were pushing in, there was a lot of focus being thrown on Sven and he couldn't really sustain it. Oh, he finds the ward! Puppy! Capitan Pupan finds it. Can't hide from heaven. Well, going down for the mid push. Again, Scotty actually on Ember, just trying to stay alive a little bit when he gets bursted. And also the AoE slow. It's very good for kiting the Sven. Very good kick there. Some value damage. That could even work against him. <clears throat> oh, he got out. Oh, they're going! Alright, BKB protecting the Batrider. He's trying to turn it. He has a refresher. Could refresh Blink. Uh, is he gonna go for it? Oh, he's just got forced that Blink. Grabs one. And immediately Oracle protects it. Zeus is immediately dead to Sven. No way to survive that. Age is still online here as well. OD has stolen 10 int only, so only two right clicks dealt by him so far. And he passes the cheese to his Sven, just healing him up for a fight. Probably a good choice. Oracle trying to try and heal him up as well. Going Lotus Orb as well on Oracle, it seems. Just that could be even stronger against the Batrider to counter his initiation. Better than breaking it is just having to throw it back on himself. Like he's going again! Odi! He's crazy! That's a weird dive, dude! I'm not feeling that one. Orko's trying to protect him, but now everyone is in a compromised position. Batrider trying to lock the enemy in place. Lose with the buyback coming in. Dealing a lot of damage. Odi's gonna go down here. I don't think he can run away. He's gotta try with the blink. And he gets the blink off, but... Oh, the hex! I still dead. That's so reckless. That's so reckless, dude. <laughs> Sven is like nice TP's bros. I mean, if you're gonna play like that on OD, you need to have the Aegis, or at least the cheese. I mean, you pass the cheese to Sven. This guy is crazy. He's actually mental. He just goes in. I don't think that's a good play. Attempted, attempted MLG stun on the creep wave. Against the Slider Fist, of course. And that should be one lane of Rax. They have the Fortify, but double buybacks coming out. Even so, Sven is not really in a position to dive in here. He can still blink, even when he gets nuked, because the Oracle makes it so you don't take damage. And that's a Zeus dieback. Oh, that crit! Holy moly, that hurts for poor Batrider. Oh, they need to run. They need to leg it. Alright. That's a little bit of structural damage though, again, being dealt by Radiant. So close to getting the, the melee racks as well. They should have focused it all the way. Of course they went for the range traps first, it's a safe play. And when the double buybacks come out, they have to kind of back out. Um, but yeah, that was a buyback on Oracle and Jakiro. This is a dieback on Zeus, so they know they have one minute now where they could push. 
they reach the base fast enough, they might get a, a Rax. But look at this. He knows. They left this Rax on pretty low HP. Yep. And no Glyph available, so that's a Rax. This is always tough to deal with when you're pushing. And you see that someone just chops away at your base. They gotta go for a full defense here. They can't let Vega get two lanes of Rax. The Battle Fury doing a lot of damage to Sven. No matter how much armor you have, the Battle Fury damage is not mitigated by armor when you splash from someone else. Uh, is, they're just. This is a full time job trying to keep the Sven alive, and Zeus is not even up. Sven going in, going ham. Vacuum, vacuum that stuff. Okay. Okay. They're going for it to get the Rax. Sven has 10,000 gold. 10,000. But his team. Oh boy, Jakiro, that's a dieback for you, my friend. Zeus. Gonna find the Sven as well. Oracle gets grabbed by the refresher. That's two diebacks. Oh boy. And that's a long time to be dead right now because there are a lot of travels on the side of Radiance. They're just going down mid. Sv I mean, Sven has buyback, but I don't know if it's enough here. He's going for the Abyssal, but he's so late. He didn't pick it up yet. The Courier's gonna buy this Sacred Relic. He could buy back TP here and get it. He's just gonna try, I guess. Let me even just run down here. TP for split pushing. They're a little bit cautious in their approach here. Secret. Paying a lot of respect to just the combo of these three core heroes. Batrider gonna fly in. He's gonna bite the bullet, I think. But uh, they can't even go on him. It's very hard when you don't have Oracle behind you. If Sven goes in, the lasso is almost up. In fact, he went Octarine on uh, Batrider, so very low cooldowns. How do you stop this Mega? I don't think he can. I think it's uncounterable. I gotta try leading with the Hex from the Darkseer. Hex to follow up from the OD. Hexing the Puppy, actually. But Grave, Grave already came out. It's a misplay. Oh no. Puppy got just got killed him. Right clicking down the OD. He has no buyback. Ember is still fighting. Sven is a monster. They have to kite him a lot. Batrider does have his uh, ulti available. Just need to let the Ember hit and protect with the Batrider. Oracle ulti is up, so maybe going on Oracle could be a good choice. I'm gonna back off here. 3v4, not so tempting. Also, no refresher ready. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yeah, they have rapier on Ember. I didn't call that, but the damage numbers kind of speak for themselves. It's very common to pick up Ember, um, Ember rapier now. Like, it's not even... I don't even get surprised when people do it anymore, because you just you just have to. Just deal so much damage. There's no way you're gonna pass up on that value. Yeah, finding random random gems down here. They have one gem on the Oh, uh, they have a gem on the Dark Seed, that's it. No, they have a gem on the Dark Sand on the Jakiro. They saw the Ember. They're gonna try and go for a pick. He doesn't have Lincolns anymore. He used to. But he sold that for his uh, Divine. Or he even put it on the Courier. No. Sold it. I think selling Lincolns might be a misplay. Unless he had to do it for a clutch uh, amount of gold. Because <clears throat> selling Lincolns... If you keep it on the Courier, you could pick it up from a Courier, use the Lincolns on you, TP in, and have the Lincolns effect as well as your Divine. And right now he's sitting at 7.5k gold, so why not have the Lincolns still? But, of course... Of course, there are more things he can get, the Moonchar, than the upgraded travels. I was saying, Silent Lincolns was probably probably just needed in that very moment, else he would have kept it for that value. I'll go for a smoke here. <coughs> Not many buybacks available. For uh, the side of Vega, there's actually no buybacks at all. Right now, there's no buyback. Oh man. This is so dangerous. If they get a pick here, that's game over. Pretty much. If they win the team fight afterwards. But they have Refresher, Batrider. He's gonna lead the way. He's gonna lead the way. Even if Oracle stops him now, he can maybe grab him again. And he will uh, get hexed. He gets counter hexed. Hmm. Alright, they're just gonna back off. That's Oracle ulti for Batrider ulti, which is fine for them. I guess. Just poking, you know. 
Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. They're gonna find a D word here, smack down a word of their own. There's a lot of words here around the Rush Pit right now. They can know that this last Roshan could be game, but could be game even before that Roshan if uh, Secret really want to pressure. But man, oh man, if they get Aegis on, I mean, even an Aegis on Zeus could be could be massive, or even on a hero like Earth, just being able to have one guy immediately respawn, no matter who it is, because you have so many items now that you might not want to take it on your Ember, even if you do kill Roshan. I mean, you could take it and drop an item. But, not always worth. We haven't seen the Abyssal Blade in action yet. I still want to see if this guy will get a pick off. And as I say it, he's going to go bottom. He doesn't need Abyssal for that kill. So he still has it. Very good, because it's a long CD. And that's a really well-timed pick as Roshan is just about to spawn. So, he blinks in, he checks it. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh. Oh, Mag? No. Oh. Oh, Courier, the hero. The hero we really need. There it is. Ping, ping, ping. Ping, ping, Roche. No ping, ping. They're gonna go. That rider actually has CD on buyback. And they know this. You definitely will be taking timings on all the buybacks. And they last forever, so... Three minutes remaining on his buyback timing. You're gonna know pretty positively that he's not coming back. Look at the rat, though. It's a rat spirit. He has two divines. He has a backup one. Just forcing a TP. TP was cancelled though. Meaning he could go in again. They're gonna go back and get the Aegis. They can definitely still put an Aegis on their OD. I don't know about putting anything on Sven anymore. I wouldn't even say having the cheese on him is good. Maybe you can make a play with like dropping an item and picking up the cheese from a teammate. But all his items are necessary. He can't drop anything. But they do get Roshan again. So that's even more control for them. Mortality, of course, on the OD. She's on Darkseer. And Darkseer is getting pretty big now as well. With that Hex Blink, he really can help find people. Oh, that's an Aghanims. He wants to buy it. He has it already with a thousand gold, but he just wants to get 550 more so he can buy it and have buyback. Pila die. He doesn't want to throw, throw away the game for an item that could be could be unimportant if he just has buyback available. Alright. They're really trying to hold on to this game, Vega. I feel them. So much split push. Really hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. Always so much fear for this Batrider and where he could be, but meanwhile, there's even a blink on the Dazzle and Travels, of course. But the blink. Really gonna help him stay far away and get a good grave off. Zeus is pretty much capped. He can go refresher instead of his uh, first uh, his um, ghost scepter. Then he's gear capped. But right now, just very very clutch. A rune of destiny on bottom. He has basically no attack speed though, so DD on OD is not. It's not as insane as it sounds. I mean, it would be ten times better on Sven, but he didn't want to make his way down there. This is a dangerous push, but I think they're just realizing if you play a long game where you're already so many racks down, you have to go. You can't just sit back and feel comfortable. Are oh, they gonna grab him? Batrider? He's all the way over in Fountain, actually. Okay, only one rack remaining, and it's the range racks, too. They're gonna go way in for the fight to cancel the TP on Oracle, but they're gonna sell the Oracle and TP away. They are leaving him indeed. Batrider with the refresher blinking after. Oh, he turned. Turned to try and cancel, but he's got chase. I think he got him. This is such a slow piece of shit hero. <laughs> and there's no way you'd live here, so... Aegis is amazing, but not when you're disengaging fully like that. Oh, that has to hurt. They're gonna go bottom as well. He still has ulti on Batrider. Uh, Iron Shell gonna cancel his blink, though, so he couldn't blink immediately. Doesn't really matter. They're just gonna force buybacks here and... Even after we force them, they can still go. The cheese was not popped. They got to smoke up here, try and take a good fight. They need a massive vacuum wall into Svenstun. They timed that correctly. Oh, they do it, but is it enough? Good hex onto Weeha. He is dead. They got two kills. And the TP out is going to be successful. 
Trying to chase after a Batrider, but really seems kind of futile. I don't really see how any of these two are gonna kill each other. Man, this game... You're not kidding. It's truly a back and forth game. Down the mid lane we go again. Buybacks are available on secret. Alright then. Kep keep in mind though that OD has no buyback now and he has no Aegis, so... He did buy a travel so that he can join his team, but I think this is looking to be maybe the last fight that they take. Now you guys know because you've seen this game before, I don't, but I think this could be uh, an aimed final fight here if they take it. Or they just disengage because buybacks. They forced both the buybacks. I think if you're gonna buyback there are two things you can keep in mind. If you buyback both people at once, do that if you're guaranteed to grab someone. If you want to intimidate the opponent to go back, just buy back with one. Because maybe they would have backed off if just the Earth fought back, or if just the Zeus fought back. I don't think both those buyback were good. I mean, if they had Batrider right on top of him, and he could grab someone, of course, just go double buyback, but... That's just a really clutch thing where... You know, you could save... Saving buyback on one guy... <laughs> one guy right now... It, it can be a difference between winning or losing a game. So... If it's gonna be Intimidation, try and do it one at a time at least. Oh, the push, are, push is going down bottom again. The question kind of comes down to who is more comfortable dealing with Mega Creeps. Because I can see this game that both teams get Mega Creeps and it keeps going. With the Sven and the Ember, I mean, either team is going to be fine with it. So this is looking to be Mega Creeps for Radiant right now. As Dire... Oh, they're going to TP in. They're going to come back. Not so fast. Not so fast to say. I guess you could say Vega are in a small advantage right now in the fact that they have a melee Rex, which takes longer to bring down and it also regenerates. Whereas there's a 165 HP Ranger Axe up here. Almost could be worth to even just suicide someone up there for it, but as I said, Megas are not gonna win the game immediately. And having buyback is extremely important. But like even sending a a rat Jakiro or something could work. Okay, that right with one grab on the dark seer. It's gonna be perched. He is stunned. Oh, he's gonna get brought down. The glyph, the graph, the grave. Oh, they're chasing. Oh, Mag is pretty low HP. This is not looking good for Vega actually. They're not gonna catch anyone after all of that. Oh, they are gonna catch one. Okay, they do get Zeus actually. That is pretty major. The Sven TP'd in here, so he cannot come back to defend. Not sure if they're going to abuse that weakness, but I definitely saw that. And, uh... OD's going to go back for a defense. Looking to hex initiate. He should have follow-up TP's from... At least two guys. He's trying to chase top. He can get the blink hex if he just sees him. Go on him! No the fucking war! No the high ground! No! <laughs> he gets him! I'm not biased, by the way. I'm just... I'm just feeling his pain. That fog of war. Oh, the save! Oh, oh, that hurt though. He's dead. All right, he's dead with no buyback on the OD. Ah, the rat, the rat Sven did it. BKB TP out. He got the racks. Meanwhile, so it's a uh, no buyback OD versus a uh, versus a ra um, range racks ratting. All right, dude, man. I like this goal though, like, this was nice for OD this time. I uh, just, the blinks that I don't uh, agree with him on his in initiation is when he blinks into all five, because they can so easily disengage with all their heroes. Um, but this was really good and really man manly move. He was so close not to get the Batrider though when he high ground here. He got the Hex just barely. Uh, no gold at all on the Ember anymore. Is he gonna pick up a... The Divine is on Sven right now. It's never a Daedalus. Um, yeah, I guess that's... That's pretty fine. Might as well use it while they have it. You know? If it was between purchasing a Divine or a Daedalus, I would say just go Daedalus, but... If you have a Divine at your... At your... Uh, disposal, might as well use it. Not gonna let it rot away in the fountain. Oh, bottom. They're making a play for it. Sven going ham. Go Scepter. Soul Clutch. 
Not gonna be and stun that. Okay. I thought he was gonna be stun the Dazzle before he got to make more plays. The Ember Splash! Oh god. Dire, you are taking a fight without your OD. Remember that. Remember that. That is a complete disaster. They need this crazy motherfucker to go in. Without OD. Alright. Mega Creeps, of course, pushing quite hard, but Ember, he does not give two shits about that. He can just double Divine Clear that with this Battle Fury. And uh, back to Daedalus for this Sven, who doesn't have a buyback anymore now. There's a point to be made that Refresher could have been the item as well here for Sven. And while it sounds kind of YOLO, I actually think Refresher instead of the Daedalus or the Assault Curas could be better right now. Because, think about it, you have double ulti, which of course is good for the long fights, but you can stun twice in a row, you have Abyssal twice in a row, and you also have two BKBs, so for 10 seconds, you're extremely strong and pretty untouchable, and that might be what they need. Looking at how the initiation is going, the Dazzle was keeping himself alive for so long, and then he got to cast his grave, and the fight just looked disastrous. I think a refresher could be amazing for him. Of course, if he drops his Isokyo though, he leaves himself very vulnerable to the Ember. So I'm not saying that it doesn't have its drawbacks, but it might be a good play. And he's not gonna go for it anyway, but thing to keep in mind. No way he would have enough mana for that. No, it's actually quite fine. Like, he's not gonna double ulti immediately, right? It's not like you... Oh, two ultis in a row. But if you think about what he's gonna use, it's 280 mana cost for the double... Uh, for a double storm hammer, but at the same time as you're casting more spells, you also have an OD on your team, and you also have uh, the Guardian Griefs, so I definitely think you have the mana for using it. And uh, E is a very good skill for popping the the aura as well, so it's not like you're gonna run out of mana. Like, chain stunning is not gonna be an issue if you ulti. You're gonna have a 670 mana pool to work with, and what you need to do is, what, stun you can easily stun three times in a row. Four times in a row should be possible with some good, um, with some good RNG as well. The smoke, though, They're trying to even out the score on the racks. They're also looking for anyone solo defending right now, as they can pick them off so easily. It's funny. So many in this game are actually gear capped that it kind of comes down to supports. Game. Alright, we're good. Just decided. I actually think I might have paused that game. I didn't know you can pause by that key instead of the pause button when you're watching a replay. Can used to be the case. Uh, Yeah, it kind of comes down to the supports and the item progression right now because everyone is looking so gear capped. And of course, buyback status, that's the biggest thing. There is buyback on Zeus, OD, Darkseer, and Hero, so three buybacks for uh, for Dyer right now. Oh, Batrider, he's gonna try. In a game that's this slow, though, in terms of fights, there's not that frequent fights. I feel that the Aghanims could have been better than the Octarine, but I mean, I'm not gonna say that Octarine was wrong or something, because lower CD on Refresher, lower CD on your travels, these things definitely come into play in a game like this. Um, but a double grab, that's also pretty crazy. Oracle can't say both of them, you know. He grabs two people. Do keep an eye out for this Lotus Orb as well to make a big play. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Both teams kind of posing right now. Immortality was picked on Sven, uh, and he has a refresher! There we go! There we go! You bastards were arguing against me! You watched the game and you still argue against me! Okay. It's a good choice! I mean, if anything else, he can at least have the refresher in base and just use it to uh, refresh his BKB if he goes base. Man, these are some weird 71 minutes items for uh, OD to be carrying. Hex, refresher, blink, BKB, and a cheese. It feels so naked. It feels so naked, dude. There's no Shivas, there's no 
No Octarine, he's not... Well... Let's hope it works. This is, again, playing to a do double disable. They need this in the team fights. So... Even more than just going for it on Sven, they, they double up and went for Refresher on OD. Double ulti can also burn a lot of mana. If you play smart, if he's smart in this game, he might just throw his double ulti really early in the fight to make sure that Batrider cannot use his Refresher. Because um, it plays a massive part, let me tell you. After having played tons of games against OD on this patch, it's, um, it's horrifying. <laughs> it's horrifying. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Yeah, 40% of the mana is gone after he uses ulti, but then he refreshes and uses ulti again. And some of them are going to struggle, struggle to uh, get all their spells off. I don't think he can really affect the Ember in any way, but, you know, more heavy mana costs like Batrider. Oh, Batrider... Divine on Darks here, because why the hell not? I'm a man, Mag says. He's just charging in. He wants to fight. Casual TP out, no anti-tinker ward at this stage. I'm actually not even sure where he's carrying the Divine. I actually think he's carrying it to work as a courier for when the Aegis is gone on Sven. I mean, you're not gonna DPS with the Darks here, so he's just gonna... Just gonna try and uh, be a mate, I guess. He has to die somehow to pass it, though. That's the thing. The only way he drops it is by dying. All right, trying to go for push bottom again. I know the game is kind of slow, by the way, but there's a lot of things going on. Just good reads by both teams trying to poke here. Just a lot of respect as well being given. Sometimes less respect being given as well. This is good timing here. He just knows that, you know, around the zero one. Creep wave should be down here after 30 seconds of running. This is a good thing to know as well, but never mind, let's not talk about that. They're uh, going pretty ham here. Gonna need to scroll out to really see the initiation. Okay, one tower gallant. They're going for the Megas. Or uh, the Megas, the base. Ooh, big vacuum. He's gonna refresh. Not gonna refresh yet, holding on a little bit. He's got double ult. He gets the Ember once. Don't stack up for the Ember boys. Jakiro trying to tank up, just running in with Lotus Orb, but can his team help him? No blink on the Sven, so he can't really go in. Oh, this is just a kite fest. They're just controlling them. One kill on the Ember now, though, and the, it's game over. If he can get a blink on the Ember with the OD. Oh, they hexed him once. He's going in. Oh, Chain Hex is there. He got it. The stun. Okay, he's dead twice. This looks like game, yeah. Is there any way they can stop this? Not really. GG. Wow. That was pretty clutch. That was a pretty great game. Thank you for uh, telling me to watch this game out of the games today. Wow. It came down to the hexes, the chain disables. That's the only way to deal with a farmed ember in the late game. You need a hex pretty much. Most stuns are not even that good, like Sven stun. Uh, I mean, it can't lead. It can follow up for sure, but you, you need to have some other initiation. Amazing game. Really well played by both teams, but uh, man, so interesting to see these two drafts go against each other. I think Vegas had they, Vega had the more all-round, well-composed lineup for big team fights, but the split push from uh, from Secret, I don't even think that goes totally to their heroes. Sure, Ember is a monster, but uh, it's just the playstyle. They just understand to push the side lanes all the time. What a great game. My voice is dead, so I'm gonna be done with that. <clears throat> Thank you for watching, guys. I'll be playing more games tomorrow, by the way. Um, big head.